right now I want to talk about noise reduction plugins. Um, Photoshop itself doesn't really have good noise reduction. Um, if you don't have a noise reduction plugin, but you do have something like Lightroom, you can use the noise reduction in there. That noise reduction is decent. So it's not the best, but it's pretty good. Um, the reason this video is in CS5 and the rest were CS6 is because my noise ninja was crashing in CS6. But uh, so I'm, I'm going to go over uh, Noise Ninja and Topaz Denoise and uh, Nick Software Define. They're all pretty good. So the first one I'll go over is Noise Ninja. So this picture, it's a single exposure. It wasn't very long, so it's not the signal to noise ratio is not the greatest. And there's no stacking, so that's why the noise is not not very good. So you can see if I'm zoomed in here, especially the landscape part, it's not, not very pretty. And the clouds especially. So if I go to filter, this is I'm gonna do noise ninja first. Picture code noise ninja. So it it automatically profiles the image for you. Um, these little yellow squares here are, are where it's sampling from. If you find, if you think it picked a bad spot, you can always move. The, you can draw new squares. But you can see here what it's done. Um, if I hold here, here's the original. And if I let go, you can see what it's how it's reduced the noise. So there's original and reduced. Now the downside to noise reduction is you, you lose some faint stars sometimes. So if I click OK, here I'll zoom in and I'll toggle back and forth. So there's no noise reduction and noise reduction. So it does help quite a bit. So now I'm going to try and a different one, Nick Software Define. This one also automatically profiles the image. You can see it, is, it also selected the cloud. Usually the automatic profile is fine. If you want, you can manually adjust things. But I'm just going to click OK. zoom in here and compare the two. Here's no noise reduction and noise reduction. So this one seems like it got rid of more noise than Noise Ninja. I mean for the longest time, like years ago, Noise Ninja was always the best one, but lately other companies have cropped up and their plugins are really good. Some faint stars are still being lost, but it's hard to avoid that. If you think it's too intense too, you can always fade it out. Um, this plugin creates a whole new layer, so I can always just change the opacity and only do 50% noise reduction as a compromise, but anyway. So the last one I want to show you is uh, Topaz Labs. It's called Denoise. Now this one has all these presets you can choose from. So we shot from a raw file, so we can start with like raw moderate. And you can see what that did there. Raw light does a lot less. Raw strong and stronger really that that's a little too smooth. So kinda like where moderate's at for this one. Um, you can also fine tune the settings over here. So I'll click OK.
there's the without noise reduction and with the topaz noise reduction which is they did a really good job so I look at some faint stars here I and mean, that's impressive like it retained it didn't it's not deleting any stars at all but it's getting rid of a ton of noise That's a very impressive. So if I had to pick between the three plugins, uh, I'd say in most cases I find that the Topaz Denoise works the best. Um, it has a lot of fine tuning options, but usually the presets, they work just fine. The other ones are good too, but Noise Ninja is really unstable. It, cr it seems to crash a lot. Um, the Define one, it's good, but it's kind of it's basically the same as Noise Ninja. So yeah, I'm gonna recommend the uh, Topaz Denoise.